Good afternoon, dear students. Our today topic is HIV infection and ex some extremely dangerous infection. There are a lot of slides, as you see, more than 100 slides due to it today. Uh, mostly delivering will be uh, short about each slide, but long uh, for the lecture. Uh, and mostly I uh, will uh, comment uh, information what uh, present on slides, uh, what uh, published in slides, because in other situation this lecture will be more long and less informative. So HIV infection is slow progressive infection with multiple mechanism of transmission, belong to anthropomorphic infection, Characterized by suppression of immune system, uh, clinically there are uh, a lot of uh, clinical signs of HIV. Uh, some classical uh, signs such as generalized lymphadenopathy, fever of an, uh, unknown un uh, origin, reduced resistance to infections and, and tumors uh, belong to more classical. AIDS, uh, uh, it is a last stage of HIV only. A history of HIV <coughs> very long. Uh, ha uh, this virus has been discovered in 1933 uh, in uh, <coughs> 1999, an international team of research report that they discovered the origins of HIV-1 uh, subspecies uh, of uh, chimpanzee native of West Equatorial Africa was it identified as uh, original source of the virus. Uh, uh, the researchers believe that HIV-1 was introduced into human population uh, somewhere at uh, 1930s and 1940s uh, due to hunting. Uh, first uh, recognized case uh, of AIDS was suspected in the United States in uh, 1981 in, <coughs> in, banks, uh, in banks of blood uh, HIV samples was revealed uh, in uh, ages what belong uh, in years what belong to middle of 50 years of previous century. Etiology: uh, HIV virus uh, uh, attacks the immune system. Uh, family uh, retrovirus, uh, subfamily lentivirus. Uh, sphere, uh, diameter small, 100-140 nanometers, contain two, uh, uh, two uh, fragments, two parts of RNA, uh, nucleocapsid, supercapsid, uh, uh, contain some enzymes, uh, transcriptase, protease and integrase, uh, uh, protein envelope consists of phospholipids uh, and glycoproteins uh, such as GP120, GP160. Uh, uh, on this slide, a uh, scheme of virus uh, with enzymes with glycoproteins, uh, it is a uh, scheme of this virus. Uh, target cells, uh, most, uh, mostly CD4 cells is main target of this virus, to these cells belong of course first of all T helpers, uh, other cells what may, uh, may be damaged, uh, there are tissues macrophages, monocytes, cells of lymphatic nodes, uh, skin macrophages, spleen cells, uh, ma macrophages of lungs, uh, cells of microglia and cells of reticular formation, uh, astrocytes of brain, M, smell, uh, M cells of uh, small intestine. Uh, there are main targets uh, for HIV infection, not T helpers only. 
HIV is high, highly variable <coughs> and often mutate virus due to uh, this fact we can't to uh, stop uh, resertion about vaccine uh, successfully uh, due to this fact uh, level of mutation of this virus in 1000 times more than level of mutation of a uh, virus or, of influenza usual flu less uh, mutate than HIV virus antibody against HIV proteins active against normal human proteins this leads to development of autoimmune process one second uh, position that uh, HIV virus uh, proteins of virus uh, will change in time in one human and due to it uh, due to it every time our uh, immune system must synthesize new portions of antibody for changed virus and due to it uh, immune answers stay uh, practically not effective uh, because if you are memorized how we uh, check uh, presence of HIV for usually for screening we use antibody uh, and uh, antibodies level and if present antibody to uh, HIV it is practically one of main index of, of to put a diagnosis of HIV infection good news that HIV is unstable in environment quickly inactivated with uh, disinfectation high temperature boiling uh, may uh, demonstrate resistance to ultraviolet and radiation in blood, uh, in frozen plasma, uh, in cold, uh, may survive long, several years. Subdivided for two primary strains, HIV-1 and HIV-2, HIV-1 is common for Europe and United States, HIV uh, HIV-2 mostly spread it in West Africa, difficult to diagnose because HIV-2 uh, produce disease would develop more slowly. Uh, both of uh, viruses have similar properties, transmitted with same way and cause a similar clinic picture finally. Epidemiology, uh, transmission of HIV. Uh, mm, transmission of HIV there are uh, there are uh, mostly uh, uh, sexual transmission of HIV for today uh, of course mechanism of transmission is parenteral uh, source of infection anyone with the virus in any stage of disease uh, necessary to return for previous slide around uh, one quad, uh, one fourth of people with HIV d don't know about own HIV status. They don't know uh, they are infected. Uh, quantity sufficient uh, dose of infectious agent around ten thousands of viral particles. High virulence of this pathogen. Uh, may penetrate through damaged skin, through damaged mucous membrane into the blood of potential host. One uh, uh, factors of transmission: there are infected blood, semen, vaginal secretion, or breast milk. As a biological uh, liquid, of course, may contain virus, but uh, concentration of virus in other biological liquids um, is low and uh, it is not enough for transmission of virus. Uh, so, uh, what um, uh, model of trans what model what ve uh, vector of transmission uh, for today domination is sexual transmission. Uh, for today it is uh, usual heterosexual contact, non-protected sexual contact uh, and that's of what I made to say about main usual va variant of sex. 
uh, when uh, one of our partners is uh, infected with HIV. Uh, no, uh, what uh, structure uh, male population of the if more often infected uh, li little more uh, infected uh, rate of uh, male homosexualists uh, rel uh, relative chances of them more than a usual heterosexual contact but in absolute counting in absolute counting for today a leader is usual heterosexual contact if at the beginning of HIV spreading it was problem of so named marginal groups to, uh, such as drug addicts uh, in uh, in some countries to marginal group was belong not now uh, was belong and male homosexualists uh, for today it is uh, infection of so named middle class uh, and uh, worldwide and for all social layers and uh, it may not depend on background uh, maybe vertical mechanism of transmission from mother to child uh, rate of uh, of it you may suspect on slide two and of course artificial way artificial way uh, transfusions injections uh, iv drug use uh, so uh, um, it is contact with infective blood uh, so uh, what uh, risk of group uh, uh, more high rate of HIV spreading uh, continue to be um, uh, in a group of high risk such as uh, ho ho homosexualists um, uh, male, male homosexualists one intravenous drug users uh, uh, patient who uh, have chronic blood transfusions uh, recipients of inner organs uh, recipients of blood these people in group of risk due to uh, what uh, 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 homosexualists uh, due to more traumatic variant of sex one intravenous drug users so due to absence of safety measures in time of drug using uh, main reason it uh, presents some additional reasons but uh, it will be explained in time of practical classes uh, hemo uh, hemophilic uh, recipients of inner organs why nah, these people in group of risk because if donor was infected uh, on early stage test system may uh, demonstrate false negative result due to it for example urgent transplantation for saving of life uh, but uh, organ uh, may be uh, organ what was used for transplantation may be infected too and this risk present because for HIV infection possible so named window time when patient is infected uh, uh, but antibodies uh, not uh, appear in blood and level of viruses uh, in blood very low uh, due to it p um, uh, checking of antibody or checking of PCR uh, will be not very effective uh, f for revealing of this virus it is not very long not more than half year <coughs> but this risk uh, uh, present uh, this risk for recipients of inner organs of course present additionally uh, prostitutes uh, of course will have <coughs> a risk of uh, increased risk and rate of transmission again trauma traumatic sex micro traumatization of mucous membrane uh, mucous membranes due to uh, it uh, more simple transmission of HIV uh, 
uh, after uh, this group medical workers usually uh, especially me medical workers uh, who uh, have more high rate uh, of uh, contact with blood such as surgical specialists uh, some <coughs> uh, and some uh, uh, some unusual uh, group of risk uh, there are sportsmen uh, where possible uh, tra traumatization uh, there are different variants of fighting such as boxers, wrestlers and us uh, due, due to activity in these uh, kinds of sport possible uh, traumatization uh, and uh, contact with uh, blood of other sportsmen, of course, uh, due to it, people uh, have a risk of HIV too. Uh, so, risk uh, HIV infection rate, uh, you may suspect, uh, you may suspect uh, on this slide, not very high risk, but. <coughs> due to uh, uh, high quantity with minimal rate transmitting pandemic spreading of HIV. Uh, so it, this map uh, is uh, not very young, uh, this ma uh, map of spreading uh, practically belong to uh, uh, to five seven years ago uh, situation uh, practically not change uh, Africa post USSR countries uh, are uh, very dangerous for HIV uh, we have high rate of HIV uh, little less our partner uh, in politic USA uh, uh, and some other countries. Uh, in other part of the world situation little better. Uh, due to what? Uh, it is all associated with economic troubles with se and sexual education. Uh, due to uh, no, and of, co of course additionally drug use. Uh, due to um, not wonderful sexual culture uh, on territory of post USSR country, uh, situation with uh, HIV spreading is not very wonderful. Uh, we continue increase uh, quantity of cases uh, of new cases of HIV. Uh, not due to economic troubles. Economic troubles was a leading reason uh, in it uh, at uh, 90 years of previous century. Uh, but uh, for today uh, we have some question to sexual education for, of population. Uh, sometimes our population like to ignore risk of transmission of HIV it is not wonderful choice in a modern world uh, and uh, <coughs> I think that at uh, future years uh, we something change in it uh, for yet uh, what necessary to add practically uh, due to uh, due to sec sexual education of population due to information of population about HIV uh, in uh, uh, most part of the world uh, rate of HIV per uh, last 10 years start decrease uh, it is a uh, good news uh, step by step possible that uh, we decrease uh, HIV for the, uh, for the next 25 years I think not less uh, for minimal rate 
uh, more uh, maximal uh, quantity of HIV infected suspected in uh, countries of South Africa to 25 percent of population uh, we have uh, around uh, 1 million uh, of HIV infected uh, um, situation we fit not very fine because uh, if uh, one a million officially plus 25 percent who don't know about HIV status it's more than one million if you will recalculate it for uh, work uh, for working in usual polyclinic for work of usual physician in polyclinic uh, you may understand that practically every physician per one week per two week maximally will meet HIV infected uh, people uh, with uh, different uh, uh, problems uh, so mm, now here again um, map uh, red it is bad deep red mac uh, maximal troubles uh, green uh, more benign situation more favorable situation yellow something what plays between uh, and here again statistic of different country so a cycle of replication of virus uh, virus uh, connect to cd4 receptor after that few fu fusion of virus penetration of virus inside the cells releasing vir viral rna after that start to work reverse transcriptase uh, reverse transcriptase uh, trans uh, transform RNA uh, uh, in DNA, uh, DNA uh, integrate in, uh, D, uh, in DNA of cell. Uh, due to this integration, uh, start multiply uh, genomic RNA uh, and under action, under action of uh, other enzymes. Uh, will be finished uh, copy uh, formation of new copy of virus now here one of electronic photo uh, so this is lymphocyte this lymphocyte uh, there are viral copies there are viral copies it's about story that no one suspect HIV virus uh, it's again here with coloration uh, with some coloration with blue round uh, it is viruses uh, no, and big cell big cell uh, stage of pathogenesis penetration and after penetration will be incubation uh, or primary latency it uh, usually three months after that start expressed viral reproduction uh, this stage will be uh, from half year to one year uh, it will associate it with the next stage humoral immune hyperactivity immune system try to win in, in this fighting so it, uh, but after three five years of hyperactivity uh, will be compensatory immune uh, deficiency immunodeficiency uh, after that will be depression of cellular immunity and beginning of the compensation of humoral immunity uh, after that uh, the compensation of both components of immunity development of opportunistic infection and terminal stage uh, with generalized opportunistic diseases. Uh, incubation clinical picture absent, of course, as usually. Uh, primary acute HIV infection, first clinical, no, to say first clinical stage not right because uh, first, second, third, fourth clinical stage, it is question of international 
classification, so we'll name it, name it as first uh, symptomatic stage of HIV, uh, <coughs> typically lasting uh, from uh, one week to two weeks, and will be suspect the clinical picture practically same with uh, infectious mononucleosis. Uh, increased body temperature, maybe rash, uh, increased size of lymph nodes, uh, but after that, after two weeks, clinical picture disappear. Uh, typical mononuclear cells may arise in this situation too. It, it is for students who think that atypical mononuclear cells rise in case of infectious mononucleosis only. Uh, after, uh, after that, uh, after uh, it uh, will be uh, latent phase without clinical picture. Uh, and this latency may be several years. Uh, patient infected, virus present in blood, for today as uh, deliver practical specialists, this latency stays shorter, virus stays more aggressive. If uh, at previous uh, 25 years latency, um, it may be two, three years, to four five years if patients have good immune system bef uh, before infection. Uh, for today, uh, latency stays shorter, in one, two years, and after that, a persistent generalized lymphadenopathy. Uh, it is syn uh, syndrome or sign uh, what associated with rising of uh, lymph nodes. Uh, more than two group of lymph nodes increased in patient with excluding of inguinal uh, um, problem. It may be revealed uh, mostly in time of physical inspection of patient. Uh, due to what? It is not big lymph nodes. It's small, uh, lymph uh, small lymphatic nodes, painless, but numerous. A lot of group of lymphatic nodes enlarging patient. And that's off in clinical picture for this stage. After that, uh, clinically stage of secondary diseases, uh, first <coughs> uh, uh, losing of body weight are not more than 10 percent, the development of su superficial infection of skin, mucous membranes, of different uh, etiology. How this stage may be described? Uh, on this stage, on this stage, patient uh, will belong to people who are sick uh, often. Uh, and that's of what you may to say clinically. For example, patient come to you and you reveal sinusitis, treat sinusitis after one month patient return to you with, for example, uh, shingles or uh, you treat uh, shingles after that, uh, after some time patient return to you with uh, oral candidiasis. So uh, practically one conclusion you may to do that this patient has some immunosuppression. Uh, he is uh, often sick, that's off. This does not mean that this patient has HIV obligatory, but uh, it uh, may give, uh, if you analyze how often he visits physician, how often he start to be sick, uh, you may understand that, that something wrong with immune system. Uh, subtypes B uh, uh, belong to a uh, third uh, stage of HIV based on international classification and here more deep immunosuppression. Uh, here a patient uh, transform, uh, the status of patient transformed to more severe. Uh, losing of body weight usually more than 10%. 
uh, several syndromes usually suspected in admission hall or uh, polyclinic there are fever uh, more than one month uh, and usually belong to syndrome of fever unknown origin when you can't to say exactly uh, what possible diagnosis for this fever uh, diarrhea of unknown origin um, more deep infection, more severe diseases. There are uh, usual pneumonias, but repeated pneumonias, uh, pulmonary tuberculosis, uh, meningitis. Uh, it is again classical diseases, classical dis uh, infections for uh, different. Uh, people, but all of them associated with immunosuppression, such as you know well that without situational or systemic immunosuppression, tuberculosis usually not develop. Something must attack immune system, and due to it, due to it, uh, may develop uh, pulmonary TB, for example. Something must to produce immunosuppression, for example, supercooling, and uh, uh, due to it, in patient develop pneumonia. Uh, so, and here same situation, but uh, provocation uh, and immunosuppression will be created with virus. And last terminal stage, so named. Uh, AIDS uh, associated with appearance of classical opportunistic diseases what in 90% of cases associated with HIV infection and HIV infection of last stage about it little after examples of its uh, Kaposi sarcoma, pneumocystic pneumonia uh, lymphomas of central nervous system, toxoplasmosis of central nervous system, generalized strongula, uh, generalized strongula diasis, uh, extra pulmonary TB. There are all diseases what associated with deep immunosuppression and in modern world, uh, more often with deep immunosuppression will be produced with HIV infection. Uh, chances 90% and more. Uh, here are clinic, uh, characteristics of clinical stages, practically repeating uh, um, of information what uh, was delivered before. Uh, what interesting here, hmm, I do um, recheck this slide if it necessary. But practically, it is repeating of positions what was delivered before. Uh, so clinical manifestation first, first science mononucleosis light, most common variant maybe and influenza like variant and with lymphadenopathy only. <coughs> so as you see, uh, nothing interesting. Nothing. What may to say is that it is HIV, not, uh, but, but not other. We not think about HIV as uh, first reason of uh, influenza-like clinical picture. And of course, if patient, for example, hospitalized or patient come to polyclinic, or, um, due to these uh, types of beginning of HIV, uh, necessary to do screening for each patient, for each patient, <coughs> practically. Uh, in some countries it is obligatory, in our countries uh, obligatory for hospitalized people, in polyclinic depend on your wanting. Uh, uh, maybe enteric variant, respiratory variant, practically repeat influenza like, uh, may misdiagnosed as acute bronchitis. Uh, Meningencephalitic variant uh, pre belong to rare variant and here uh, 
misdiagnosed uh, as acute serous meningitis, but patient with meningitis obligatory must check for HIV-2. It is present in all protocols of the world. Uh, so to, to make mistake here very difficult. It is not clinical picture of obstructive bronchitis. Latency. Latency asymptomatic. Asymptomatic. Mm, not nothing interesting. People with HIV in latent stage, uh, latent phase continue to look and feel completely well. Uh, and may in fact other people of course mm. now, how long uh, how long without antiretroviral therapy how long without specific therapy people may live with HIV without the troubles no, not more than 10 years uh, between uh, time of in fact uh, uh, in fact between infection and uh, appearance starting of AIDS uh, no, persistent generalized lymphadenopathy uh, two thirds of patients with HIV demonstrate vi uh, this clinical picture f f fever, pro chill, profuse sweating uh, situationally not very typical for this stage main I uh, it is enlargement of lymph nodes two or more region with excluding uh, here mistake in taping of lecture not including uh, with excluding of inguinal area uh, about painful uh, at beginning yes will be painful when uh, start develop only possible pain but due to chronic inflammation due to chronic inflammation Persistent generalized lymphadenopathies will finish with sclerotic change of lymph nodes and due to it pain will disappear because will develop uh, connective tissue and connective tissue of course uh, not produce pain such as inflammation of lymph node or uh, inflammation around it. Of about characteristics of uh, secondary clinical manifestation what belong to uh, uh, second thought of uh, stage of HIV based on international classification uh, no, we speak about it we speak about it before I will not repeat uh, this information uh, for uh, first uh, time it's superficial infection not severe diseases after that uh, significant decreasing of body weight uh, se severe infection what may kill people and before uh, appearance uh, before realization of AIDS uh, classification of AIDS uh, what may we may to say lesion of uh, lungs uh, lesion of GAT cerebral pathology skin lesion examples you may suspect on this slide practically every disease what you know uh, may be associated with last stage of immunosuppression due to what realized AIDS. There are tuberculosis, uh, pneumocystic pneumonia, usual pneumonia, uh, cytomegaloviral ulcerative colitis, uh, damage of uh, central nervous system with herpetic viruses, generalized and prolonged salmonellosis, generalized shigellosis. First of all, um, practically every nosology will be very severe and uh, will have tendency to generalization. Uh, will try to generalize due to 
practically absence of uh, immune answer and of course additionally different variants of tumors now here will be a lot of slides i will comment it uh, it is candidiasis <coughs> of tan no. no here example uh, chronic uh, uh, angiomatosis here this slide is angiomatosis it is uh, vessels uh, vessel tumor uh, here chronic herpetic infection uh, dermatitis in patient with HIV mm. Uh, this is cachexia in patient with HIV. Uh, varicella zoster virus. Again, when we suspected this clinical picture, in case of immunosuppression, and one of reason of it is its uh, variant of uh, ne uh, skin necrosis due to varicella virus in HIV infected. Again, varicella herpes virus. Now, this is more severe form of it in patient with HIV. So, if this picture may be suspected in usual people uh, with mild situational immunosuppression, this, of course, it is deep immunosuppression in HIV. Uh, infection or uh, here uh, additionally in patient leukosis leukosis variant now of uh, development of varicella zoster infection chronic form it is cro chronic varicella zoster with ulceration ulceration not very typical usually erosions for herpe herpes viruses here deep ulcer yeah, sarcoma kaposi it is uh, its tumor uh, from endotheliocytes source of tumor are uh, changed endotheliocytes may placed everywhere this picture more good now uh, uh, this picture Again, uh, here uh, 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 left leg, left extremity, practically normal, right extremity damaged with this tumor. Maybe asymmetric, maybe everywhere. Mm, dark uh, the color of this tumor because vessels is uh, source of this uh, tumor uh, how it look on uh, fits uh, as I say maybe everywhere here Kaposi sarcoma uh, on conjunctiva with dark foxy uh, additionally Re, uh, dermatitis in patient no. No, damaged nose with sarcoma kaposi and contagious mollusk of eyelids uh, this is a result of intravenous uh, using of drugs uh, I mean narco narcotics dirty narcotics uh, due, due to its uh, severe phlebitis in patient with HIV and severe ulceration. So, severe ulceration and result of intravenous drug using. It's a uh, picture about her, uh, herpetic infection, a simple her, herpetic infection. No, in patient with HIV, this picture again, not for deep immunosuppression, 
for mild moderate immunosuppression this picture of course associated with more deep immunosuppression and these pictures of course terrible next no, it's damage was damage of genitals with herpes virus it's damage of skin uh, cryptococcosis cryptococcosis mm. uh, x so it is again damage of skin uh, with some fungus histoplasma capsulatum it belongs to fungus disease named as histoplasmosis usually people without immunosuppression cannot suffer due to this fungus in patient with hiv it is possible uh, it is candidiasis of skin uh, myco different variants of uh, myco uh, mycosis of skin <coughs> damage of feet epidermophytosis is it possible epidermophytosis for usual human? Yes, possible, but degree of severity in each case will be less. Here you suspect serious sign. For example, onychomycosis. Uh, this may be an inpatient without HIV, without uh, this kind of onychomycosis, maybe and without HIV, it is not very severe, really. Uh, but maybe and in a, in HIV patient, uh, but for example, <coughs> total uh, necro uh, to total onychomycosis, it's uh, for more deep immunosuppression usually. Mm. Uh, this does not mean obligatory that onychomycosis or other disease strictly associated with HIV, but they are a strict associated with immunosuppression uh, and necessary to check what produce this immunosuppression in each case hiv haven't own clinical picture no. it is my causes of skin my causes of skin again uh, scabies generalized scabies yes possible it is uh, numerous uh, microscopic examination of sputum uh, and in sputum was revealed pneumocystic carini uh, x-ray of patient with pneumocystic pneumonia what you may to suspect a lot of small shadows a lot of small shadows it is not shadow as in case of usual pneumonia consolidated shadow so a lot of small changes and these small changes will be associated with severe uh, severe pulmonary insufficiency no autopsy, autopsy. mri <coughs> ct scan uh, of brain uh, it's uh, the toxoplasmosis of central nervous system look uh, on this part of uh, I return sorry I uh, I return uh, ring like shadow ring like shadow it's sign of toxoplasmosis of central nervous system <coughs> again for realization of it must be <coughs> uh, severe immunosuppression and uh, without severe immunosuppression and no, not develop of course S uh, asymmetric structures asymmetric central structures of brain uh, other shadows again uh, um, shadow inside of shadow normal coloration uh, so it's for toxoplasmosis of central nervous system uh, here uh, uh, multifocal leukoencephalopathy um, due to tropism uh, of virus to some brain cells uh, will be uh, uh, 
progressant multifocal leukoencephalopathy and patient may die in case of HIV not due to immunosuppression but due to uh, neurological insufficiency too. So reasons, quantity of reasons, of death reasons in case of HIV, there are so many uh, uh, that more good to exclude possible transmission of HIV. Uh, uh, this uh, kind of candidiasis, halitis, uh, usually uh, not for last stage, usually it's international stage 2 in our today clinic, more clinical delivery. It's uh, beginning of uh, clinical signs, not first, but when patients start to, see, uh, to be sick very often. Uh, and when was uh, delivered about superficial skin and mucous membrane infection, uh, we are possible development of halitis, for example, too. Uh, he, uh, here, here, inflammation would produce uh, with uh, candidas. No, it's more bright candidiasis of oral cavity, candidiasis of tongue, again, mm, again, uh, here, uh, herpetic infection, what possible complication complicated with purulent inflammation, <coughs> again, uh, herpetic infection, a herpetic infection uh, due to uh, uh, <coughs> due to immunosuppression, uh, oral candidiasis. Now this variant of uh, pharyngeal oropharyngeal candidiasis, it is exit to pharynx. Uh, it is uh, soft soft palatin uvula. Uh, uh, so uh, this is tan, this is tan. Uh, so this variant of candidiasis, it is of course more deep immunosuppression. It's mostly for third international uh, stage or fourth. It is HIV or HIV eighth stage. Uh, hairy leukoplakia in oral cavity usually usually uh, revealed in uh, smokers. Uh, it is pre-cancer disease, pre-cancer disease, uh, and, <coughs> and ma of course must be treated locally, if possible with surgical help. Uh, hairy leukoplakia, more diffuse type, it uh, cannot be fo <coughs> focal, uh, <coughs> maybe uh, micro-operation. Uh, this type of hairy leukoplakia must be systemic treatment uh, for excluding of transformation of it to, <coughs> uh, to cancer. No. Uh, it is hairy leukoplakia too. Here hairy leukoplakia of tan. Mm. No. Bad teeths possible candidiasis of tan and uh, leukoplakia, uh, leukoplakia. Uh, Kaposi sarcoma, again, dark tumor, here, uh, dark tumor in oral cavity. As I say previously, uh, this uh, black violet nodes of this tumor may be everywhere practically because source of this tumor is our own vessels, endotheliocytes. Now here again, it's with, uh, good coloration of this tumor in oral cavity. Diagnosis after these uh, terrible pictures. So how we must to diagnose HIV? No one pathognomonic signs. No one. 
Well, maybe with exclusion of generalized lymphoadenopathy, if you examine patient with attention before uh, AIDS, uh, clinical picture may look as usual diseases, usual infections. Due to it, main role, main significance for a diagnostic of HIV will play specific diagnostic. Screening tests, it's revealing of antibody with ELISA for verification uh, must be used. Western blood, uh, Western blood. Uh, remember that both of them, ELISA and Western blood, belong to tests what reveal antibody uh, and uh, due to it positive false negative result. Now, uh, so uh, if patient have risk of transmission. Uh, for example, surgeon take a trauma in time of surgical operation and uh, no one know status of patient. Uh, how long, how many times we must to check uh, blood of this surgeon uh, for excluding of HIV. First of all, after traumatization, after that uh, after three months and after six months after traumatization. Um, blood must be checked for revealing of antibody. Uh, additionally, we'll uh, use PCR, uh, but uh, PCR mostly used uh, for uh, HIV infected people uh, due to what? Uh, more uh, interesting, not qualitative PCR, because about infection we made to say with help of antibodies. Uh, necessary to check quantitative PCR for control of uh, effectiveness of therapy if it will be used. Uh, Non-specific methods, there are practically all what you know of. in medicine, uh, from usual CBC to immunogram to mm, and other methods uh, what you know. Uh, because of course it depends on cl uh, clinical picture, if patient will have pulmonary TB, it is of course CT scan X-ray of lungs, it is analysis of sputum, it is bacteriological analysis of sputum, microscopic examination of it, usual CBC, and other uh, uh, methods uh, for uh, control of pulmonary functions. Uh, but uh, non <coughs> no one non-specific methods cannot say name of infection. Uh, all what they will may to demonstrate two positions. One, patient have immunosuppression. If it is immunogram, of course, will be uh, cells immunosuppression. First of all, decrease quantity of T helpers. Uh, and... Uh, other will belong to non-specific changes depend on clinical picture what was revealed it may be pneumonia so candidiasis tb uh, intestinal infection everything uh, good news for today we have uh, uh, not bad therapy for hiv i can't to say that it 100 successful but it really helped to prolong life. For example, Western Europe experience demonstrates that uh, using of uh, HART, high active antiretroviral therapy, prolong uh, life of HIV infected to 55-60 years in average. And main reason of death will be not uh, tumors or some other, main reason of death will be heart infarction. Uh, due to more young uh, appearance of at atherosclerosis of vessels, it's backside effect of a high active antiretroviral therapy. Uh, what include uh, uh, what include in it uh, uh, different antiviral remedies? What belong to inhibitors of viral enzymes such as inhibitors of reverse transcriptase, inhibitors of protease, or inhibitors of integrase. If we block enzymes, virus will not uh, develop, virus will not multiply, and we stop uh, progressing 
of this infection. Uh, of course, we can't to restore health of patient. I mean, uh, he will not. Uh, in this patient, will not suspect an eradication of virus. He continue to be carrier, but if will absent. Uh, progression of infection, our immune system restore, and patients stop demonstrate uh, signs of immunosuppression, not fall to HIV, and of course prolong life and comfort of life too. A basic scheme includes two inhibitors of uh, reverse transcriptase and one inhibitor of protease. It is basic scheme. Necessary to use several remedies because virus mutated fast. Uh, you don't know for what enzyme your remedies will be effective due to it try to block several enzymes uh, with several remedies. Uh, before therapy must be uh, done quality of PCR and necessary to check immunogram. Uh, here necessary first of all to check level of CD4 cells. If CD4 cells is uh, lower, uh, in this situation, therapy nece uh, ne necessary to start therapy. If if CD4 cells is high, quantity of virus is lower, uh, not necessary to start this therapy. Usual uh, you border. Uh, for starting of therapy, usually quantity of CD4 cells less than 300 in Western Europe, in poor country less than 200 in microliter. Uh, no, here are examples uh, and dosages of uh, different antiviral th therapy. I think I will demonstrate it, and if it necessary, you may. Uh, to download as lecture, as slides, um, may make print screen of slide. Uh, now for memorizing of different dosages, different remedies. Uh, so main in treatment of HIV this. Present some difficulties in uh, schemes of treatment of HIV. Of course it is not vitamin C, uh, a lot of backside effect, not all remedies you may combine uh, in uh, inside of this group. Some combination uh, will, uh, will be bad uh, with additional backside effects. Uh, but all of it, I think, about it necessary to speak in time of practical class uh, about HIV. Uh, next subtopic, what must deliver it, it is uh, extremely dangerous infections. Um, it is not my idea to combine these topics, uh, but I must to deliver. Uh, there are uh, two, di uh, two very different topics. Uh, and I choose plague as classical example of extremely dangerous infections for, de uh, for delivering, for short delivering. Uh, mm, due to what uh, uh, plague, it is zoonotic disease, what may kill uh, due to severe uh, complications uh, of it, one. Uh, second, uh, due to fact that it is zoonotic infection, uh, plague uh, no, uh, can uh, return to the mankind uh, because the natural pers persistence of this uh, microorganism not depend on human. Uh, plague registered every year every year uh, in different countries uh, um, so ne necessary to remember about it. So what is it plague? Acute transmissible zoonotic disease characterized with serous hemorrhagic inflammation in place of pathogen reproduction 
manifested with very severe intoxication, affection of lymphatic tissues, damage of internal organs, and development of sepsis-like state. Uh, sepsis-like state. And belong to extremely dangerous uh, in old classification to quarantine infection. Uh, causative agent Yersinia pestis, uh, family Enterobacteriaceae. Uh, from uh, you know this family as a source of different intestinal infections, but uh, different intestinal infections more old from a site of evolution. Uh, Yersinia pestis, causative agent of, uh, uh, of plague, is more young uh, due to it more aggressive one and it belongs to zoonotic for surviving of it, not necessary uh, to keep at care about mankind. non motile avoid shape, uh, no spore, no flagella, gram-negative uh, and produce exotoxin. And as usually, if we suspect unusual uh, situation, uh, uh, if we suspect uh, troubles in the rules of microvolt, uh, uh, will, will produce severe disease. Look, it belongs to gram-negative, but may produce exotoxin. Uh, facultative anaerob, uh, anaerobic bacteria, uh, sensitive to heating, boiling, disinfectative solutions, some kinds of antibiotics, not all, to some kinds. Uh, resistance to freezing, first of all, dry and low temperature. Psychrophilic microorganism, like cold. Uh, usually like cold. Uh, no, here how it look with microorganism in blood smear. Mm, this, 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 it is uh, uh, this causative agent. <coughs> Microscopically not very interesting. Uh, contain uh, Thomas table O, uh, K, V, double V, uh, antigen, double V antigen play interesting ro role, protect uh, this microbe from phagocytosis and after passage through human leukocytes after primary multiplication stay more aggressive it is not written in lecture but uh, you may find it in textbook uh, more aggressive for humans than for example for rodents uh, produce uh, exotoxin uh, exotoxin and factors of aggression, coagulase, hyaluronidase, hemolysine, fibrinolysine, endotoxin, uh, what may liberate uh, at moment of destruction and multiplication, has trop uh, tropicity to the vascular endothelium and blood cells, uh, due to its systemic effect of plague. From site of epidemiology, there are uh, several stages. Uh, there are several stages of uh, plague development. Uh, I mean, spreading of it, not clinical spreading. First of all, it will play as zoonotic infection, transmission usually from rodents uh, uh, to human. After that, we may play as anthropozoonotic infection, when will be suspicion of spreading from human to human and from zoonotic and uh, from uh, animals to uh, to the mankind. Uh, and last stage, anthropozoonotic stage, then from human uh, only. Uh, and uh, this is uh, last two anthropozoonotic and uh, anthropozoonotic type of spreading of plague. It is situation what we afraid because if in time of zoonotic spreading mostly will be suspecting of bubonic plague uh, with mortality 30 percent, it high mortality. Uh, to please trust me in this question because coronavirus infection on average has mortality around 5-6%. Uh, 
Uh, pneumonic plague and septic plague has mortality around 80 percent. 80 percent mortality uh, and patients die very fast. Traditional uh, vector of spreading at the beginning of it vector bone uh, with a flea bite. A possible other way, elementary contact, uh, aerogenic uh, is typical uh, for a uh, second or uh, third stage of uh, plague spreading uh, due to contact with a patient with pneumonic plague. Susceptibility general and very high. Uh, immunity relative specific can be, uh, can be repeated cases of infection if somebody survive, especially without treatment. Now here, transmit a flea, uh, source different variants of rodents. In rodents, uh, clean, uh, plague less severe. Uh, due to it, plague mostly persists in population of different rodents, uh, but we may have contact with rodents, and flea may play as transmit a flea bite sick rodent. After that, jump and uh, bite. Uh, after after that, will be multiplication uh, of Yersinia in stomach of uh, flea. After that, this flea may bite the human, and in moment of blood sucking, due to regurgitation, uh, Yersinia pestis, causative agent from stomach of flea, come to micro wound, what uh, appear due to bite of flea and infect human. Uh, more <coughs> Uh, more dangerous situation and uh, bite of flea uh, before death of animal it maximal level of bacteremia uh, other <coughs> uh, other of course uh, other position I other positions I described before here practically repeating uh, of this information. Uh, pathogenesis of plague is complete. First of all, penetration without local change, sometimes primary effect. Uh, after that, regional distribution uh, from the site of inoculation uh, through lymphatic vessels without lymphangitis come to regional lymphatic nodes and produce severe lymphadenitis in lymphatic nodes. Uh, causative agent Yersinia enter to mononuclear cells but cannot be destroyed cannot be destroyed in lymphatic nodes bacteria multiply produce serous hemorrhagic inflammation within two uh, within two to two six days uh, lymph nodes increase in size, swells form and conglomerate. This conglomerate of uh, lymphatic nodes named as bubos. If uh, lymphatic nodes uh, can't to stop it, uh, will be bacteremia. Uh, bubo is necrotized and Yersinia go to the bloodstream, liberate endotoxin and produce more severe intoxication. And po if will be bacteremia, will possible uh, uh, spreading of it practically uh, in every part of the body uh, and this severe uh, in hemorrhagic inflammation will be in different inner organs, in pulmon, in pul pulmonary system, cardiovascular system, everywhere. Uh, for example, uh, in teeth uh, of uh, people who die due to black death, it is medieval uh, spreading of plague. Uh, uh, was found genetic uh, material of Yersinia pestis. So it may penetrate to teeth too. So uh, everywhere. 
And the last stage, uh, stage of outcomes depend uh, on situation with the patient, depend uh, situation with treatment, immunological patient state uh, start to recover, or terminal death, of course, uh, unfavorable outcome. Uh, so what on this slide? more deep disc uh, describing of penetration and regional distribution uh, so uh, clinical classification uh, localized form there are cutaneous form a bubonic form 70 80 percent belong to bubonic form maybe cutaneous bubonic form uh, second, pneumonic form, uh, it may be primary or secondary, first of all may develop secondary pneumonic form due to hematogenic spreading, pa patient had bubonic form, uh, but it finished with bacteremia and uh, uh, secondary development of pulmonary form. And if uh, this patient uh, will had contact with other people, it may be a uh, source for aerogenic. This situation uh, uh, may be a uh, reason of aerogenic transmission of plague. And in people who get uh, a plague with aerogenic mechanism may develop primary pulmonary form. So if from animals to human, usually bubonic. If from human to human, usually primary pulmonary form, what more severe. A septic form, uh, maybe primary, secondary. Uh, more rare variants, plague meningitis, uh, abortive form of plague, uh, and uh, unverificated plague. Uh, no, here what? Uh, scheme of transmission, scheme of damage, uh, practically repeating of information, clinical picture incubation <coughs> from three days to nine days. In case of uh, <coughs> in case of uh, pulmonary and septic form, to one two days full incubation and in vaccinated people. Uh, maybe uh, more long incubation to 10 days. <coughs> uh, sad, uh, uh, initial stage. Uh, suddenly beginning uh, expressed intoxication, very high rising of temperature to level 39-40, chill, weakness, uh, pain in muscles, pain in joints, severe headache, Expressed thirst, repeated vomiting, sometimes bloody vomiting. Uh, intoxication so severe that uh, may develop toxic encephalopathy. Patient uh, is restless, uh, overly active, maybe delirium, hallucination from first day of disease. So it is not intoxication uh, such as, I don't know, such as usual flu. It is severe intoxication, what associated with uh, damage of central nervous system too. Uh, hood signs uh, uh, may be suspected in patient hyperemic automatose face and neck, uh, injected scleras uh, in case of uh, uh, in case of severe intoxication may be. Uh, signs of pale face and red eyes due to injection of sclera due to scleritis and may uh, be cateral signs maybe cateral signs with enlargement of tonsils uh, very um, bright signs uh, chalk like uh, tan a thicket coated tan with white fur uh, no, sometimes maybe hemorrhagic, uh, anantemas hemorrhagic uh, uh, rash on soft palate. Obligatory. 
obligatory uh, will be cardiovascular syndrome, severe tachycardia, hypertension, arrhythmias, dullness of heart sounds, increased heart size. Uh, additionally, uh, tachypnea, dyspnea, hepatosplena megaly, oliguria. So, this severe intoxication, uh, central nervous system involvement, cardiovascular involvement, practically obligatory for, for the plague. Uh, depend on uh, clinical form, uh, climax uh, time will be different. Cutaneous form rare, uh, rare form of plague uh, with formation of primary effect, uh, final uh, it will be ulcer and scar. In some hours, very fast, in patient will be spot, papule, vesicule, pustule, ulcer. Very fast, uh, practically per one, uh, maximally two days, uh, will be formation of ulcer. Now, photo of this ulcer uh, uh, on extremity you sus may suspect on this slide. Uh, will be regional uh, lymphadenitis, severe intoxication, evolution of effect you may suspect on this slide. Spot, papule, vesicle, vesicle. Uh, pustulosis changes and ulceration. No, finishing if patient recovers scar. Not very often. Tag. No, it's examples. So all or maybe not so good as on previous photo. Maybe and this. Oh. Bubonic form, more often form, formation of <coughs> conglomerates of tumor-like formation consisted, uh, what consists of several lymph nodes, single lymph node, it is not typical, mostly several lymph nodes will be in one conglomerate, yeah, uh, size more than 2 centimeters. Location usually inguinal, more rare axillary and uh, cervical. <coughs> Thanks. Uh, uh, outcomes: rupture, sclerosis, uh, resorption. At antibiotic therapy only. After opening the bubble, the patient condition usually improves because if before it toxins absorbed in blood uh, from bubble, uh, when will be exit from it uh, to to the skin. Uh, level of intoxication usually fall, uh, but don't uh, make surgical uh, help for the patient with it because uh, surgical manipulations in case of plague uh, may provoke bacteremia. Uh, bubo is painful. Uh, bubo is painful. Uh, tissues around it uh, hyperemic with blue. <coughs> uh, tissues around uh, lymphatic nodes uh, will be uh, with edema. Uh, subdivided for primary bubo, secondary bubo may develop due to dissemination, due to uh, bacteremia. Um, secondary bubo suspected usually for uh, septic form. Uh, what we for common clinical picture? Uh, signs of intoxication, severe intoxication, in, uh, and and this local change, uh, bubo, uh, with pain, uh, in time of more movements, uh, this pain is severe. So, for example, if it will be an inguinal area. Uh, sometimes patient cannot move with uh, extremities, uh, cannot walk. <coughs> uh, without treatment, patient die uh, within 3-5 days uh, uh, due to severe intoxication, due to toxic shock, finally. No uh, illustration, uh, no more good, more classical very, uh, photo. 
this cervical lymph node. Uh, <coughs> it's classical. Now uh, here are extremities. Here are extremities. So big with cyanosis, very painful, and with edema. <coughs> Uh, septic form, uh, septic form, uh, what <coughs> necessary to add uh, for septic form because I have practically five minutes for uh, finishing of deliver uh, delivering only and more than 12 slides yet. <coughs> uh, clinical picture of sepsis, severe intoxication, in uh, infectious toxic shock. Uh, practically uh, very short incubation, last one three days, prognosis very bad <coughs> in case of septic form. Uh, secondary septic form in case of treatment, uh, prognosis single cases for surviving. Uh, mm, usually, uh, due to septic form, patients uh, die in one two days. Pneumonic plague, uh, situation little better. In case of treatment, some people may survive. Incubation one two days, duration uh, without treatment one two days. Sad, uh, all signs of intoxication, what was described before, plus pulmonary symptomatic, uh, plus uh, pulmonary symptomatic with respiratory insufficiency, shortness of breath, tachypnea, dry cough after that uh, with bloody sputum uh, cough in auscultation. Uh, scanty data, hard breathing, sometimes rails, but scanty, uh, x-ray, a lot of changes, a lot of changes in, in lungs will be revealed with x-ray of patient with pulmonary plague. Oh, what? Um, hmm, no, practically very fast patient uh, may uh, fall to terminal a stage of disease uh, with uh, polyorgan insufficiency, hemorrhagic syndrome, DAC syndrome, resp severe respiratory insufficiency. So very, very severe or plague. It is not a uh, disease what try to joke with, with us. Uh, plague will try to kill us. Uh, here primary uh, some features of primary pneumonic plague. Uh, so, um, what is necessary? Uh, I repeat that maximum possible level of intoxication, infectious toxic shock one, uh, second a minimal change in time of auscultation, but with severe respiratory insufficiency and a lot of changes in time of X-ray. It is typical for pneumonic plague. <coughs> uh, complications may be different, of course, main complication death due to infectious toxic shock. Different variants of polyorgan insuff of uh, organ insufficiency, maybe heart failure, maybe meningitis, maybe DAC. So practically all fatal complications. What you know, you may put for the plague. You may put for the plague. Uh, treated, uh, treated uh, plague, bubonic plague. If will be treated, mortality not more than tw 20%. Pneumonic plague, half on half. Minimally 50% of people uh, who will be treated with antibiotics uh, may survive in case of pneumonic plague. Septic form, prognosis very bad, usually untreated, and patients have small chances 
uh, for surviving uh, usually uh, around 10 percent uh, if therapy start in first day of disease that's off now here complication for example uh, gangrenes of fingers ulceration we have damage of vessels uh, here skin form of plague uh, uh, here how it look uh, criteria belong uh, to epidemiological criteria and uh, to clinical uh, final verification specific diagnostic uh, there are bacterioscopy uh, immunochromatographic tests so named rapid tests a classical bacteriological examination uh, uh, growing of ma material on Martin so Hottinger uh, aga and uh, maybe using of serological methods such as ELISA, reaction of in indirect hemagglutination, direct hemagglutination, but serological methods additional, or, um, of course in modern world may be used in PCR reaction too. Uh, serological tests play secondary role uh, in each case. Uh, because very fast uh, beginning of disease, very fast uh, onset of it, uh, due to a uh, very short course of most uh, dangerous forms, and due to it uh, necessary to check for antigen first of all, not antibody. People may sometimes die more fast than appear immunity. Uh, treatment, of course, hospitalization, supportive therapy, immediate beginning of antibiotic treatment, medicine of choice, uh, streptomycin for today, uh, uh, more actual scheme uh, for the plague, uh, as a combination of streptomycin with uh, fluorquinolones, such as ciprofloxacin, uh, in last three years uh, was proposed a triple scheme uh, streptomycin fluorquinolones plus gentamicin or plus doxycycline uh, reserve remedy uh, uh, chloramphenicol uh, due to what uh, in uh, last three five years used uh, double scheme or, or triple scheme of uh, for plague treatment uh, due to step by step realization of resistance to antibiotics streptomycin start work uh, more good than before and due to it uh, for etiotropic therapy uh, proposed to use combination of antibiotics and of course pathogenetic treatment detoxication treatment of heart failure using of uh, treatment of infectious toxic shock glucocortic steroids uh, using symptomatic therapy uh, all of it must be used for the plague and must be used obligatory because without supportive therapy patient may die so fast as without antibiotic uh, therapy. Uh, both directions and treatment of uh, a plague are very important. Uh, so that's all what I wanted to deliver today fast. Uh, I try to deliver both topics. Uh, I think uh, that today's delivering not uh, very wonderful due to fact that uh, both topics uh, are very different necessary uh, to change something in, to in plan of lectures but <coughs> uh, we must follow to plan of lectures and course of lectures finished uh, eight lecture this is lecture number eight uh, so that's off and you may be free keep calm and catch good moments in your life <laughs> thanks for your attention